Hi, I'm Aaron Berugo with Gorilla Approach, and this is Functional Marksmanship Movements. Today we're gonna to be shooting the consistency target. This is a carbine target that I designed for two specific reasons. One, I wanted to be able to encourage speed while also teaching offset. And two, I wanted to challenge the idea that it's okay to be sloppy if you're close to your target. Uh, typically with a lot of exercises that encourage rapid rates of fire and they're trying to teach guys to break through trigger freeze and really get confident on the gun, we see that there are issues because guys will just hijack their natural point of aim. So we'll see this like in a 2-2-2 exercise. And because their shoulders and their hips are pointing in the right direction, they'll start to point shoot at the target. We'll see this even if you use a half size A box in a USPSA target. Because shooters are pointing their gun where it needs to go, they'll get in the bad habit of starting to pull the trigger before they actually see sight picture. So they'll mistake the speed that they're building for competent speed when in reality it's very sloppy and uh, pretty dangerous too if you're thinking about how we're actually going to be employing these skills. So with the consistency target, the first thing that you'll see is there are very small margins of accuracy. So if we're shooting a carbine at close distance, five yards specifically with this target, you'll have to take into account your offset. Now, typically when we teach offset, we have a shooter shoot at a known point on a target. So whether that's a three inch dot, a six inch dot, or maybe the A box in a USPSA target, they'll have where their intended point of impact is and they'll adjust to have their point of aim shifted slightly above it. Now, this is obviously how you teach offset and correct sight picture when you're in close with your carbine. But what tends to happen unintentionally is shooters get tunnel visioned in on that point of aim and the intended point of impact. With a consistency target, if you really wanna go for speed, you have to see the entire target. Now, that might sound like some black magic, you know, ninja voodoo stuff, but stick with me and uh, you'll actually be picking up some speed after you shoot this target. So you'll see here that we've got some small squares and some larger squares. Each small square gets a single round, each large square gets two rounds. See down here in the third row as you weave in and out between the small squares and large squares. So shot from left to right, from top to bottom, this is 18 rounds clean, and we're looking at a 12 second par time. Now, I said earlier about how we traditionally teach offset where we have shooters shoot at a single target, they'll look at their adjusted point of aim and they'll look at how they have a correct point of impact that follows. If you want to shoot this target for speed, you have to see the entire target. So right now I'm gonna shoot at the top left square and show how we kind of traditionally teach shooting offset and accounting for adjusted point of aim point of impact. And then I'm gonna shoot the entire top row and show how when you go for speed, you need to see more than just what you're focusing in on with your offset. So avoiding that tunnel vision that we typically get when we're shooting at a target at close distance with our carbine and making sure that we're seeing everything we need to. Now you guys can't see what I'm seeing. When you dry fire this target and when you shoot this target, try shooting it once where you just shoot the top left square and all you see is that offset for that one target. Then look at it again and see the entire top row of squares, expanding your vision, making sure you're not getting tunneled in on just that first target and seeing where your adjusted point of aim is gonna be for every follow on shot. This allows you to truly pick up speed and minimize the delay between the time in which you acquire sight picture and when you actually engage your trigger. And you'll notice that going for speed here isn't how quickly you can squeeze the trigger, it's how quickly you can confidently call the shot and drive your sights to the next offset point of aim. All right, let's go ahead and give this a shot now and shoot the entire exercise all the way through from top to bottom, left to right. So it's 18 rounds clean. We've got 12 seconds for par time. Let's go ahead and give this a run. All right, so that's a consistency target. Again, the intended purpose of this target is to help shooters not develop tunnel vision when they're shooting at close distances under small margins of accuracy. You can download this target in our shop or in the link right here in the comment section. 